Hello, welcome back to another video. Today, uh, I'm going to be showing you uh, how to how to get House Flipper uh, Workshop Explorer to work on Linux. So, um, yeah, Bef like before, um, earlier, like yesterday, I had I actually had this problem. Like it wouldn't, like it would basically give me this error. Yeah, here it will give me this error. It says it will say basically. Empyrean could not be found on yeah th that stuff and yeah so first thing you need to do is to get unity well i mean yeah a specific version of unity i think you already know that from the guide um which is unity 2019.4.9 f1 which which is required for this it's, yeah you see in the guide right here yeah right here so basically just launch Unity Hub or Unity 2019.4.9 then click on this or just launch it. Like if you don't know where it is, um, if you're on Linux, I mean on my directory at least, you should at least find like your Steam directory, local share Steam, Steam apps, common, house flipper, flipper exp uh, workshop explorer. Yeah, you should open that up as a folder. So, yeah. After that, just wait until it's until it's finished. Um, until it's finished ex um, importing everything or compiling whatever it's doing. Okay. So when you're in here, you see you get these errors. Don't worry, it'll be fixed easily. Just by going to okay, go to go to your main root assets, go to plugins. Go to OSX co uh, underscore Linux x64. Go to here. Click on Unity. Change this to Linux. Apply. Then go to Steamworks if you want. I mean, okay, I think it's now loading. I think it's now loading the, the library. So just wait. Oh, yeah, it's here. There. Okay, yeah, then it'll give you this message. Just exit all of these quickly, and if you want, take steamworks.net if you want. I mean, I'm not sure if this will work, but just in case, turn this into links too. Then click on apply. Then, hopefully, hopefully you should get this working. I mean, hopefully this will work. I mean, I actually have tested this out. Um, I, I use a test model and yeah, I actually uploaded it successfully. So yeah, that's how you basically um, yeah get this to work. You could just, you could just you put this into a new tab and then, you know import your model and yeah, the rest is from there. So hopefully this tutorial is pretty useful. Um, I haven't seen like other people doing this for Linux, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys later. Goodbye.